Welcome to a special Solid State Cinema with Synth Sequence Sound. That was hard to say. I assume you may be aware, Mr. D-Lab has worked in industrial electronics for about 30 years. And I've used a lot of sensors and a lot of signal conditioning devices. One of them, which is my favorite, is a frequency to voltage converter. Now this module will take a frequency, say 0 to 10 kilohertz, and convert that to a voltage, like 0 to 10 volts. And it's a linear ramp. And these are pretty quick because they're used for speed sensors. So you need a fast update rate, right? So I thought, well, maybe I should get out of the industrial box and go into the music box and find a way to use this item in a music application. So I thought, hey, maybe I can use this to control a synthesizer as an external input. You know, you've got the CV input for like a keyboard. So when you're playing the keyboard, you're producing different voltage levels, which produce different octaves or notes, right? Well, I think I can do the same thing with the F2B module using a CD player. So let me show you what this module does. We'll go over the specifications and then I'll hook it up to my synthesizer and see if it works. All right, here's the module that we're using for the demonstration. This is an API 7580G. This is made by Absolute Process Instruments. They've been around for a long time. What's nice about this module is it is fully configurable. So you can see your input can be 0 to 100 and all the way up to 0 to 30 kilohertz with the outputs selectable 0 to 10 volts, plus minus 5, etc. But what's really nice about this module is the frequency response, okay? So let me scroll down here, and you can look this up on the web yourself. The accuracy here, they show that, but what I'm interested in is the frequency response. Now in the high ranges, it's 110 milliseconds. That's pretty quick. Now you'll find there's a lot of these F2V converters out there for sale, but a lot of them don't show the specifications. So you'll see some very low end ones for under $10, but I can't guarantee you that you're going to get the same results as you would from these APIs. So here's a quick demo of the API 75G module with a frequency input, and I'll show you the voltage output. Okay, So this one's configured for about 0 to 6 kilohertz equals 0 to 10 volts. So I'm on the 1K scale on my WaveTech. Now start increasing frequency, and you'll see voltage increasing, okay? So there it is. She's swinging up from 10, back down to 0 volts. So if you envision audio sweeping from maybe bass notes, give you maybe 0.6 volts, let's say, up to high frequencies, that'd be 8 volts, right? So as your audio is modulating, this voltage is going to dance around. And that's going to make the CV input to a synthesizer very happy. Well, here's our test setup. I've got the Sound Lab synth over here. Its input is coming from the F2B converter. The input of the F2B converter is coming from the CD player, which is a source. We're monitoring over here on the scope. The upper trace is the actual audio coming off the CD player. The bottom trace is a 0 to 10 volt voltage ramp. So as you see the audio up here, you're going to see this ramp moving up and down. And that ramp that's moving up and down is driving the CV input of the synthesizer, simulating like a keyboard or a voltage ramp. But in this case, it's going to modulate to the music. So let's listen to some tracks. So to do the synth justice, we'll start out with Kraftwerk the Robots, a very befitting song, I believe. Here we go.
next in line, the cars. Let the good times roll. Next up, the Beatles, Obladi, Oblada, or Life Goes On, right? So this one sounds really cool, the Moody Blues, Tuesday afternoon. Alright, we'll wrap this up with Madonna's Rave Light album, Candy Perfume Girl. Here we go. Alright, so you can see that each CD has its own unique signature sound through the F to B converter into the synth. Yeah, you really can't recognize the song, but that's not the purpose of this video. The purpose is, is to show you that you can use this input to the CV of your synth and develop some cool patterns that you could write music to over that and not get popped for copyright. What do you think of that? Pretty cool, huh? So for this demonstration, I used a CD player as an input. However, you could use your imagination and use other type devices like an MP3 player or a microphone that has a preamp because you need about two volts of drive to make that module happy. So it's up to you, use your imagination. So there you have it. D-Labs, solid state cinema supporting silly synth stuff. What do you think of that?